hopefully be the first of October because with the coronavirus and stuff, the the it already takes four to eight weeks for me to get everything. So it's a delay. So it's probably gonna be like before Christmas. So I'll be pushing it definitely okay. the holidays and giving out festivals and stuff like that. So how did you come about with the idea of makeup? Because I always say I don't care what the world is going on, has going on. Women are always going to spend money to look and smell good. Well, I always wanted to do some type of cosmetics or something like skincare or something. But Tanya Banks, little boss down there, he got me to think that I need to have more money coming in. So oh. I need different avenues. So I was going to wait. And I was like, she got a body. Let me tell you what she got. She got a wine. She got her own clothing line. And she making money at it. Now she got her book out. And my book come out next year. But I was like, okay, I just do plays. And I spend more money out doing plays. And nothing is coming in. So let me do something where I can generate some cash. So she the one kind of motivated me. You know, we, got, we got to keep making them boss moves. You know, you, you That's got to, true. To be a boss, you got to make some boss moves. Little boss, little boss motivated you me. Can't to let, you can't let grass grow under your feet. That is so true. And, and Tanya, you have you are a entrepreneur as well. I mean, you have a lot of good things going on. A big fan of you as well. What inspired you to write your book? Well, actually, um, I would tell stories to, you know, my friends or strangers and everyone. Um, I've get, been told several times, you should write your own book. And I was like, mm, everybody got a story. <laughs> but um, this lady, she prophesied it to me. She told me she was like, you got a book. And I'm like, no, ma'am, I don't have no book. She's like, no, you don't you don't have a book? I said, no, ma'am, I don't have a book. And then she said, oh, God told me that you're going to have a book. She said, and I'm going to buy it. I said, oh, okay. Wow. And literally one year later, it just, you know, I just had the urge to write a book. And I contacted a young a lady who has who's written five books and i contacted her and i asked her you know what's the process and everything and she was like oh i have my own um self publishing uh company i'll walk you through it and i'll help you with it and she did and this this is what we came up with and <laughs> it was what's the, what's the title of the book tanya the title of the book is it's not what you're called it's what you answer to because uh -huh. I've been called a lot of things, but I've been called a lot of things other than the child of God. But I answer to Tanya Banks and I answer to little boss. So, and so the, the book, whatever is name I come up, I'm, I'm, struggles I'm, and everything that I've been through, how I, you know, all my challenges and how I dealt with them. It's like you know, everybody dealt a hand. Cards she must got a don't have, don't have control, huh? Did she say something? Oh, anyway, can y'all hear me? Yes, oh, okay. <laughs> so, you know, it just it just shows you about the, the stumbling blocks that came in my way and how I used them as stepping stones to accomplish the goals that I put forth in front of me, okay? Because like you said, that title is um, so important because I think a lot of people just in human nature, we get upset at what we are called to instead of remembering you don't have to respond to it because that's not who and what you are. Right. So I'm excited to know. I ordered my copy and I'm excited to read this book and get your um, point of view. So what would you say without giving too much away? What is one of your um, favorite parts of the book. And Tasha, I want to know yours too, because you also have a copy of this book. So Tanya, what is one of your favorite yeah. parts of the book? A real small part you could think of. Um, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, don't, I, I don't know. Tasha, what is yours? I don't, I, cause it's, it's, it's well, I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know if it's my favorite part. I can't hear you. I don't know if it's my favorite part, but the funny part of the book is when 
your ex-husband when you told them you was pregnant okay and you, okay, you was concerned <laughs> and you was i have a little baby a little person and he was like as long as it ain't a bunch of y'all running around i was like you know what he is no more good he was no more good that was he hilarious was i mean <laughs> I, I loved his answer. I, I did. Because he, he said, you know, I, I love you, so I would love our child. He said, I just don't want to, I just don't want a whole gang of y'all running around. But he didn't want a bunch of y'all running around, little people running around. What's wrong with a whole gang? And, you know, he, he was traumatized. He was traumatized after watching um, I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, when I was on Martin, um, the little they had like the little club, and we all beat up uh, Martin and Tommy and Cole. Yes, I remember that episode. So, so that's what that's that's what stuck in his head and in my in his mind. <laughs> Girl, when I read that, I was on the floor. I almost <laughs> fell off. The floor. I was like, uh, uh, no. That is hilarious. So we know Tasha's favorite part. Okay, so you know what, Tonya? I think when you write the book, because you're so familiar with it, it's kind of like, what is my favorite part? Because right. you know, it's, I mean, it's it's you know, it's it's. I don't know. <laughs> it, it's, it, it was just my truth. So, you know, I just was taking everybody on this journey, you know, on my life. So everybody will know, you know everything I've been through and what has created me to be the way I am. Mm. Okay. Do you have, would you mind sharing a personal experience uh, maybe in regards to the book, something that someone could take from them, like a time where someone did call you something and you didn't respond to it, but you wanted to. Okay. Yeah. You don't have so, to name drop, just. Right. Um, I mean, I didn't know the person anyway, but. Oh. So this Caucasian guy, I was on my way to work. I was work. I was literally about to do a, a bar mitzvah. Mm. Um, and I was a, I was a, a character. Um, and it was at this place called the Supper Club. It's in Hollywood out here in LA. And I was on my way there. And it's a restaurant right next to it. And so this Caucasian guy, he was a little tipsy, but when he saw me walk by, he said, oh, this is what he said. He said, look at that little nigga midget. And so the girl that was with him, she said, don't say that. Why you say that? And he said, because that's what she is. And I was on my way to work, so I didn't want to be late. But I really wanted to go back and literally kick him in his head. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, or hit him in the private. I, 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 but, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to ignore him because, one, he's toxicated, which that don't mean nothing because that means you're expressing your true Thought. he's a racist but yeah, you know basically. but that 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 one really really hit me that one that one really really hit me but it's 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 a lot of lot of you know discrimination and and stuff that that's throughout the book well, and then I, and how i dealt with it and 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 being black in america we gonna we gonna always always be subject to some type of racist remark. But on top of that, she is a little person. So and a woman. So it's like I'm a woman, I'm a little person, and I'm I'm black. So it's like the and and so it's it's like I fall under what society says under disability, you know, being a woman and then being black. So mm -hmm. I so anybody can relate to this book. Anybody who's been, you know, trying to put them in a box and not be able to, you know, 
try to stop them from doing what they do or say, oh, you're not going to be able to do that. Or you're not going to be able to do that. I'm like, I'm the person, oh, I could do it. Well, I've been around her so long, so she's not even four feet no more. She's like five nine, because she on the same level. We talk the same kind of shit. We cuss each other out. We talk. The same. So I don't even look at her as a little person no more because right. her personality, her character, how she carry herself is way bigger than her height. So, if you get to know a person, just like if a person got to know us, we're past the color of our skin. Right, that's true. We're, we're the human race. So you you just I just it just takes people to get to know you in order to relate to you and see you for who you are. But I damn cut don't see no little person. That's why I cut her ass out all the time. Look at what ass <laughs> <laughs> And I get on her ass too. <laughs> we go back and forth now. We go back and forth. You know what, but that's a good that's the awesome thing about friendships, right? Oh yeah, no, we, we don't take it personal. It's all out of love. We we exactly. have each other's back and best interests. Believe exactly. that. Exactly. And there's a difference when, and I was just telling Tanya this earlier about how Hollywood people are. They're mm -hmm. your friend when they can get something out of you. And when they when they use you up for all they can get out of you. Then you don't hear from them no more. You don't see them no more. Talk to them no more. But they don't need you anymore. So the friendship is based on what you can do for them and not genuinely for who you are as a person. And for me, I'm one of those people. I I I I, I tell everything. I don't keep. I don't have no damn secret. I'm be surprised. I read the book and find a secret in there. But I tell everything because I speak my truth to everybody. So. If you come to me and you're different, I notice that you're different. I'm not different. I'm the same person, but you have changed, not me. Right. And I realized it was based on at that moment you needed this from me, and now you don't need anything from me. So now you, where you at? Mm. Welcome to Hollywood, baby. You want me to come here, Blue? Well, and well, one thing Hollywood or entertainment business. You have to have tough skin. And the way my mom raised me, I have to have tough skin. So but how she raised me, it literally prepared me for for Hollywood oh. entertainment. You know, you know, I she she was my mo my mother was hard on me, but I appreciate it. I really, really appreciate. It. She didn't. She did not treat me any different. I, I think I feel she was harder on me than my other sisters, and but she knew that I had to be able to live and adapt to the world because the world wasn't going to adapt to me. That's amen to that. That's real. That's true. Cause you knew I wasn't. You was gonna meet me, and I wasn't getting on my knees to talk to your ass. <laughs> this helper, this helper gonna gonna jump over chairs and come over and and I just all in my face. Hi, my name is Tasha Biltmore, and I want you to be in my play. Here's my card. I'm like, uh, and I'm looking at her up and down with all these legs, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know what I tell you. <laughs> about, about that play, it's funny because you introduced it, and I was just about, I wanted to ask Tasha about that play uh, that you're talking about. <laughs> Tasha, the, the play that you was all in Tonya's face about. Can you explain <laughs> this? A baby? Let us know about it. That's, that's, a baby? A, that's an erotic stage play. I did it. In 2015, I wanted Tanya then. I couldn't get her because everybody acts like they don't know nobody, so they don't give you information. So I didn't have her information. And then I saw her at uh, NAACP Theater Awards in the lobby. And I was talking to somebody from Greenleaf or some movie from Cloud of Paris. And I just left Nick Simpson in that conversation. I saw her ass, and I was like, oh, she got to be in my class. Oh, my. Here it is. Here it is. You need to call me. I got, and I, I mean, I think that night I sent her, or the next night I sent her the script and everything. Like, oh, and I'm thinking, and you don't get me wrong. 
I've been watching her for a long time, so I'm thinking she like Viola Davis, Denzel. She is not gonna pay no attention to my little shit I'm talking about. Yeah. And when she reached back, I was like, oh, I better send this shit right now so she changed her mind. Shit. I was I, that's where I was at. Like, oh, wow. I hope she wanna do this. So the fact that she wanted to do it and then come partner with me and be a producer on it and now take it to the next level to make it into a, a TV series is just awesome. Because you never know where your blessings are coming from. That is that's so true. That was, so Tanya, what yeah. made you what made you give Tasha that like that red carpet? Like I'm I am gonna listen to her. I mean no, I think you know, because because you know. her boldness. You know, because that's how I am. I'm, I'm, I'm bold in certain areas. I'm not bold to run up on nobody, though. You know, but her boldness, she was like, "That she ain't gonna." You know, and I was, you know, it was like I couldn't say no. You know, I said, "Well, you know, let me check it out," because that happened to me before with another another young lady, and she had a movie, and it was like. It was it, she came bold like that, and I, you know, and I appreciate that because it it was um I took it as a compliment for them to want me to be in their play. So you know, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna read it and see if I like it. And when I, when she sent me the script and I read it, I was over here laughing. I was busting up laughing. I was like, oh, this is funny. Oh, this is good. And then I was able to visual it, visualize it. Right. You know, Plus, and then after she we we her and I talked, then you know, she started, you know, doing some little changes and tweaking it and everything and just making it look more boss, you know, like boss up, you know, type of situation. Uh -huh. So I was like, but, Yeah, I'm that boss. Okay, come on. <laughs> I didn't have her in as a character. She mm -hmm. was actually she was part of the cast and she was she wasn't just a, you know how when you get little people and stuff, they want to put them in a, a character uniform or something like that. No, I need her to be a five nine boss from Atlanta with her heart. And that's what she was. Right. And, and and like I said, she was the second person to do that because the other girl, she had me in her, I was a lead and I was a boss in that. <laughs> so you know it was you know i was like you know i she homegirl you know looked me up and found me and then when tasha came and they both names start with a t you know and my name start with a t i was like okay you know triple threat triple threat right now wow that's cool so are you are you going to be tasha are you going to be traveling with this play we want to okay, so we want to take it on tour. That's how Miss Blue is gonna be in it. Because you know Miss Blue know how to dance, you know how to take her and tell Miss Look, my do not my co-host is back here clapping. That's not it's not and, and DJ, she could be the DJ. And she know how to make that ass bow, 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 bow. So of course I told her. When we do the south side, like um, when we go on tour and we do Houston, um, Texas, and um, Atlanta and all that, she would do all those the south side. So that would yeah. be a good, that's, that's good exposure for you because a lot of people don't know that you're an actress too. Theater and so you do that. So yeah, welcome to the cast of us today, baby, when we go on tour. Yes, yeah. and I'm excited about that. I mean, exactly. uh, Blue, Miss Blue, man, before coronavirus kicked in, Tasha and I, we we just had, we were going to be totally busy this whole year. And was, so, yeah. but, but I think God did, did this for a reason for us to be able to calm down, deflect, get closer to him, and just, you know, think it all out. Just get, just make it where where when we when we do do it when we when we start production right. it'll go smooth right and we want we want stuff to go smoother than before we we want everything laid out we got so much this is real shit in our house it's so much I got I got so much stuff here I got I got cups that I'm using okay this is real wow. yeah I like those cups. 
I got I got a lot of stuff here, so we're ready to go where we need to go. But this time it's time for us to get our families right. Um and then to get the finances right, to be able to do this. So get ourselves our finances right and how we're gonna do it. And when we come out in 2021, it is what it is. Because 2020 is a tax write off, baby. Tax write off. <laughs> yeah, it's been one crazy roller coaster. It's downtime. It's downtime. Yes. Because wow. you know what, Tonya? I wanted to go to LA uh, to meet Tasha and, and uh, when you all. Yeah, you were supposed to have been coming when we were gonna do the launch. I was like, I was mad for an, for an entire week. I didn't Man, want to We were already. We, girl, I had already had my costume. My, 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 it's not a costume. My outfit. We got the outfit and everything. We, we, was, we, was, we had the location. We had the food. We had the DJ. We had the wine. We had the, we had the special, um, uh, ish drinks, the, 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 the purple margarita. Girl, we, we, we was ready. We would, when I say we was ready, and it was like that week, two, like two weeks before, man, but, we shut stuff down. I was like, we were like, Tasha, we, Tasha still had it in her head. Well, they going to come. They going to come. And when I'm like, mm, they shutting stuff down, mama. Yeah, that's what it And but, then it was like a week before, she was like, oh, yeah, we ain't going to be able to do it. I'm like, I know. But I'm going to tell you this. When we do come back, baby, get ready for a party. <laughs> Woo! I, yes, that's gonna be the party. We, we not, we not really. holding. I, I think, I think we need to change the. Matter of fact, I like the venue we was having, but we might need to change the venue. I might need to have a pool setting, or we got in the pool and shit. But I, we need a little bit of everything. <laughs> Yeah, walking around, lotioned up, massaging girls when they get out of school. We need all that shit. Yes. Because the issue is going to be real. What can people expect? Tanya, Tasha and Tanya, what can people expect when they when they tune into the issues real? Like, what what they, what they can they look forward to hearing? The ish is real. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about we not, is real. We're not going to be able to, we're not going to sugarcoat nothing because that's how T Tasha and we're I are. We're we're both very transparent, and I don't have a poker face. So not only is it going to be you know a podcast, but it's going to be video. So mm -hmm. you're going to be able to see my expressions because some things I might not say, but you could read it on my face. Uh -oh. And, and I'll tell always Tasha straight out. She's just going to be like, mm. let me tell you. Something. Let me tell you something about these people, and that's gonna get to this panic because I know you're gonna ask that question. But we have to speak our own truth and what we believe. And these people, these corporate people, these sponsors are putting money into us. You better be putting your money into us as human beings with a voice, not just for our products, not because you like our podcast. Because we like that we stand up for ourselves as women, as black women, who stand for something. And if we get on our podcast and we speak on it, you better back us the fuck up and you're not the sponsor for us. And that's the truth. We can't keep powering down for a dollar. Because we get bank dollars and we live in a certain kind of way, we want to keep allowing them to feed us and tell us to keep our voices quiet. And then, oh, we can fire you? Bye, bitch. You ain't the one. Yeah. And that's how you have to be. Yeah. Hollywood, Hollywood wants us because we're talented. We're talented. How many white people go and stand just to get our skin color? Just to right. get our skin color, a hue of our color. Yeah. All of us, they just want a hue of our color. But you don't want to live that 365 days a year. You only want to do it on vacation. Right. You want to be tan and go get blonde stuff for vacation, baby. Live it every day. Live it every day. And we can't wash this off. And I, I'm not going to wash this off and wash my shit down talking to you on my goddamn show. No, it ain't going to happen. Because the issue is going to be real. And I'm glad Perfecto Mundo is on my side. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, and to be honest, I mean, I, people ask me all the time, you know, are you happy Are you that you're black? Are you happy because you're a little person? Or do you wish you was tall? 
I said, look, I'm glad I'm black because when I get on that sun, I don't get sunburned. Exactly. I don't, I don't get I don't get nobody sunburned. Now I might get darker, but I ain't gonna get burned. Right. You get newbie. And I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna wrinkle up. Dry. I'm not gonna dry out. You know. And um, as far as my height, no. Nah. I tell them all the time. I said, "Girl, if I didn't, have, if I was tall, I wouldn't have a job." Oh, you a five nine girl with a mop? With a mop like over there? Who buy your bank? Care about those damn pie your bank? Over there? Who there? No, that's a good. That's a good way to look at it. Like, no, you. That's real. All the way one thousand. I can't believe that people would be asking somebody. Girl, oh, you I have get to be girl. One time we, uh, cause I, I used to do a Broadway show. Uh, off, well, after, actually it was off Broadway way show it was called um radio city rockets and it was we did it we were in myrtle beach we was doing rehearsal and it was myself and tara from the show from 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 little women and we were went we went to a bojangles the bojangles to get i guess it was, it's like a chicken like a popeyes or something but we went to bojangles and so we couldn't reach the the straws and the napkins. So we asked the yeah, the the young lady who was working there. We asked her to get you know, can you pass us the straws and the napkins? And she got, <laughs> you wish you was tall as me, huh? So you can get that, so you can reach that. I said, no, I have to be taller and tall as you when I could just have you get it. What? <laughs> <laughs> and then Tara, she she no Tara, Tara went deeper. She said, uh, no, because by us being small, we make big money, and you over here making minimum wage, getting our shoes and napkins for us. And I was like, <laughs> Oh my. That's crazy. That is so rude, though. See why we don't listen to craziness? Crazy, crazy. She had a smirk smile. Y'all wish y'all was big like me so y'all can get y'all out. No, we don't. Oh, baby. No, I don't want to work at Proper <laughs> Pringles. No, I'm good. We I lied. Like you are a trip, though. Hey. I don't. Y'all slowed up. What's up? What's up? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sitting here trying to think of a time where somebody was just, just like rude like that. I don't know. I, I don't know. I think I would just like really pop off. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> well, I I've I've heard it, seen it all. I mean, it's you and know. I know like I said, that's why I got you know. You have to have tough skin. Yeah. And I worked in corporate America at, at um at a bank in Michigan, and I was the only black woman in my department. And those people, they were like, "If you're not like the other people, like the rest of the black." Yes, I am. What makes me different? Because I'm professional at my job. I'm professional at work. I can bring some of a potluck. What makes me different than the, uh, the black that you see on the street or on the same friends in the same neighborhood. So some people have a difference in how you speak and how you carry yourself. I speak the way I speak. I speak. I know how to speak in a setting. If I'm in a professional setting, I know how to speak there. But when I'm at home, I'm relaxing. I'm talking shit. I'm gonna talk like you. Anybody? Right. Anybody offended? Anybody offended? Walk the fuck out the room. Hello. <laughs> I'm not about to. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Ciao. So, God. look, why have why have you ladies also? Um, earlier I talked about it briefly. Um, for a few minutes about the the whole Nick Cannon thing. Um, with uh his. So possibly allegedly being possibly taken from him, and I was just I was, what I was telling people is I'm all for being fair. I think there are a lot more people other than Nick Cannon that has said racist things in regards to black people, even the Black Lives Matter movement, and they're still on their platform. I mean, do you think it's fair for him to have his platform taken from him, and especially when it wasn't it was on his own podcast on his own time? Well, I think um, 
everybody everybody is so sensitive right now for some reason you know a lot and and it's you know they want to they want to they want to distract you know distract the black lives matter thing that's going on you know they want to they want to move move it out the way and bring something else up right. you know they want to just you know derail the attention to something else and and they and all they're doing is just adding to what we're talking about they're adding to what we're arguing and and, and protesting and fighting about so i mean cuz nick cannon but you know Hollywood does that. They'll build you up to tear you down. I've heard that and seen that. I mean, they will. They You'll be hot today and not tomorrow. So it just, you know, and, and you just have to, and you, me personally, I just stay focused and build that relationship with my God, with, with my Lord, because it's like this. I tell, I, even with Little Women LA and Lifetime and all them people. I say, look, I don't work for y'all. I work for God. God made all this happen. And and to prove that I'm right, look, the COVID, now everybody shut down. So we're all on the same level. We're, mm. we're all on the same mm. playing ground. So everybody that you know, you know, you don't control nothing. My and God controls it all. And if he if if he ain't liking how you how you acting, he gonna shut it down. Facts. And and just realize that just realize that this Nick Canyon, Kanye, all this, Jada, all this is also keeping you from what's going on with the presidential election. We have to get out and vote. We not have to only, not only the not not only the president. But just the, it, it's just it's distracting from us with the Breonna Taylor. We you know yes, it is. these things is you know it's like okay let's let's derail it let's let's block they out let's talk about Nick you know let's talk about somebody that's alive. To, to Breonna Taylor our attention. Absolutely. No, 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 but we still want just for what, 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 these people. What, who were killed, you know, for no reason. But for, for Breonna Taylor, they're trying to get their story together or they're going to be arrested. Because the you know, so they're trying to get their story together before they arrest these people so they can have something to fight with. That's what they're doing. Because it wasn't one person, it was a group of people and they made a mistake. So they're going to have to come up with something so they're buying time with them. Because they're, trying they're, trying to, they're trying to buy time. And Everybody, we, need to, we need to not worry about we, that. We need we to not like, worry about Jada in August. We need to not worry about um uh 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 this um uh Nick Cannon. We need to not worry about Kanye West talking about he trying to do president. Be, boy, yeah. boy, well, he, 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 he dropped, he dropped he was never in. He but anyway, was anyway, that's what I'm saying. All these are distractions. Yeah. All these are distractions. On taking your black matters, your black life, and, and take control of it, and be at the polls November third. That's what's gonna I help. It's gonna help Brianna. That's gonna be helping George Floyd. That's gonna help. That's gonna help everything that we've been fighting for all summer. That's right. gonna help the human race because fuck black lives matter, white lives matter, everybody. but American lives matter. We are Americans in the United States of America, and our lives fucking matter. And we need to show up and show out at that poll. And I don't care where you from, what color, what race, what sex you are. That's what matters. You know what? You know what? You know what? Because if people, hmm. if people could stand in line for some freaking tennis shoes, they could stand in line to vote. Exactly. That's what, no, you're right, and that's what we've been trying to do out here: is try to get people to vote because it's still people that will simply argue on Twitter and they don't want to vote. They just don't want to vote. I, so then just, you don't just vote. vote. Just, 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 just humor me and vote. Just, okay, just. So, so the people that don't vote, 
Don't speak out on shit. Just That's be, all I'm saying. Just be okay with the world that you're living in. The, the, the shit that's dished out to you, be okay with that. Be okay with it. You don't have a right to say anything about it. The people have a right to say something to the people who vote. I vote, I look at, I, I vote in a small primary stuff. I know my council people, I study them, I look them up, I be like, okay, what's going on with this person? I need to know your platform. Why am I voting for you? Why are you on the, why are you on the ballot? You right. have to educate yourself personally and then make your own decision and vote. But I'm telling you people, November 10th, you wanted to offer you all you talking about. Forget everything that you're talking about. This president has said that the man that's in charge of that health department for the United States of America said that he is, everything he said was made up. He yeah. wants your kids to go to school and be a guinea pig for a coronavirus. He took kids from Mexican moms and dads and put them in cages. He want to build a wall. What else do this man have to do to show you that he don't give a fuck about you? I don't understand what else this man have to do. And the people that are supporting him don't give a fuck about their neighbor, don't give a fuck about themselves. So fuck them too. Blow, and baby. They I'm standing by that. America is blown to smithereens. Because <laughs> I don't anybody know. That's, anybody, anybody that's up 45 asshole deserve exactly what they get. They deserve it. Because you're standing by somebody who is selfish. He don't even care about his own supporters. Some of the people that supported him, a lot of those Hispanic people supported him thinking he was going to come in and change something for them. Oh, and then no one's going to backfire that you're going to build a wall and take our kids from us. And uh, my kids. They were snatching the kids from the family. Just, but they vote, like you said, they vote. Those are the ones that voted for him, though. They voted for him. They put. They they went out and voted in the Latinos did for Trump. So watch what everybody that's fucking quit. You said we want something different. Sometimes you got to keep the same. And do change with more and within what we're dealing with. Biden is not the better choice. He's the only choice. You see what I'm saying? If you if you got if you got, if you got Trump or Biden, you got a better choice. He's the only choice. That's all we got. And we're gonna have to work on Biden. Because Biden needs to get some shit like you. He got some stuff that he gets to do that wrong too. So that's our job to get him right. And what four years he in there? We have to stay diligent in this and not just do it as an election time, but do it the whole four years he's in office. Biden, Biden, it just seems like Biden is not aggressive enough. I said even, that. Even with, even with Obama. Obama, now Obama was a passive aggressor. Yes. Mm -hmm. He was a passive aggressor because he was aggressive, well, but he had a calm spirit. Calm yes, spirit. Did. You know, articulate conspiracy he was like okay you know and he would he would articulate i mean you understood everything he said i mean everything made sense you know we went from the best president to the worst president like like how you go from like literally heaven to hell <laughs> they wanted a republican so bad and this is what they got they i don't think they cared who it was as long as it wasn't a black person and a Democrat. But the Republicans have now, a lot of Republicans have regretted putting them in office. Trust yeah, that. that is true. Never, that is true. Never, yeah, because everybody, everybody he hired, he fired. He, 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 so, he, so, he, so, he so, so stuck on his show. Remember that show he had? The, 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 who was that? Entrepreneur show? Oh, and, you know what The Apprentice. The apprentice. The apprentice. And he loved and you're fired. And you're yeah. fired. And you're fired. And 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 he he like literally took the apprentice to the White House. Okay. Sure so, so let's say this. Biden don't have to do nothing because Trump is doing enough. And he is just, as long as Trump keeps acting the way he does, Biden will get in the office if we go out and vote. Because he don't have to say nothing against the man. 
He don't have to say nothing. All he needs to talk about is what he's, he's thinking about, what he's working on doing, how what what changes he's you know trying to. That's all he has to do. And he I'm not hearing that enough. He don't have to talk nothing. He don't have to say nothing but, about. Uh, they have a they have a debate next uh, month. So now it's Biden and Trump debate next month. So that's something to look forward to because yes. uh, Biden. Need to get in that ass. I need to be on his team. You know, I tell him what to say, nigga. You know, you know, you know, Trump gonna walk away. You tell me, you're, you're, you're evil. But you're, oh my you're, 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 you're the devil. But you're the orange devil. You're the, you're, you're the, orange, and the orange and everything. You, 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 all but the, you're the devil, demons, and everything all in one. Exactly. You can't, walk, you can't walk away from the debate because this is your time to stand up for your party. And and, and Biden needs some back, some kick ass people in his corner. They tell him right there. We're 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 about to Obama kind of coach him through it. Yeah, I hope so because he's not aggressive. He need, he need a little thug up in him. He need a little thug up in him now. He bited Obama too, but he didn't have a Bluetooth in his ear and let Obama right. do the talking. Like they're doing acting. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, right. Let 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 him uh let let him do the, you know, let him do yeah. it. Well, hey ladies, um so. Tasha, Tanya, I enjoy yeah. having y'all so much. I wish <laughs> I could keep y'all forever. Listen, where can people find you on social media? Well, you can for me. You can go to one little ball seven, or you can go to my website and and get find out everything, social media, everything. So my website is Tanya Renee Banks dot com. Perfect. It's on your website. You can get everything. You know, you can find out everything about me and subscribe. Nice. And this with me, just go to my website tashabookmore.com and it'll link you to my YouTube, my Instagram, my Facebook, everything. So just go to tashabookmore.com. I'm on TikTok too, so. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to find you on TikTok. 